to this week's episode of Elevate Your Coaching Business. We are going to have a look at whether or not it's necessary to have a website for your business. And this might ruffle some feathers and I'm totally okay with that. Um, there's certain things that make coaches that are successful in terms of the number of clients that they bring in actually creating an impact, generating revenue versus coaches that are constantly struggling. There's some very clear things that come into play and I'm going to go through them with you and a website being one of them. So I'm Joanna Halloran. I am a business mentor and sales expert for coaches who want to be able to multiply their leads, their income and their clients. So I have a hundred percent success rate with my clients bringing in leads. 100%. I have not had one client that hasn't brought in leads. So when I say I know what I'm talking about, I know what I'm talking about. You really don't need a website for your business. And if you're anything like me, when I started, I was told I needed a website. I was told by multiple people. And, you know, some of it was from a coach that I had at the time, but the rest of it was actually unsolicited advice, right? So it's that old traditional marketing is in like, you need leaflets, you need business cards and you need a website. And the world has changed so much. And we have such a beautiful opportunity to have like global businesses because our online platforms allow us to reach more people. And, you know, even if you're not going for global domination, you still want to be able to have a steady stream of clients coming in. So does a website really, really do that? The answer is no, right? Especially at the beginning, if you don't have consistency of clients. So the difference between somebody who's successfully bringing in leads on a regular basis, being like having conversations, sales conversations, or even just converting them into, you know, um, paid clients for a digital product. The focus is always the same. The focus on a daily basis is on client generating activities. So that will start with, you know, well, where do I find my leads? How do I pull them in? The next one will be, will be well, how do I have conversations with my leads? How do I get to be in front of them so that I can turn them into a client and support them, whatever it is, the transformation is that you do. And then how do I maintain the current clients that I have so that there's repeat custom? So when you look at it in that format, where does a website fit in? Until you're at the stage where you're funneling a serious amount of traffic, um, like through like ads, um, whether it be Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, um, Google ads, it doesn't really matter. Until you get to a stage where you're funneling all that in, you don't need a website. Now, I appreciate there's going to be people out there um, that are going to be like, you absolutely do. You need a landing page, right? So you need a page where people can connect with you and they can see what it is that you offer. That does not need to be a website. A website is something that's bigger. This can be something as significant as a land or as simple as a landing page. I was even sharing with one of my clients um last week. She has um her like like low ticket offer is in like, you know, less than a hundred euro. Then she's got like her medium ticket offer, which is less than a thousand. And then she's got her high ticket. And she wants to go off and create a sales page for her high ticket. I said to her, no. And I'm going to tell you why I said to her, no. Will she need one at some point? Yes. Does she need one right now? No. That is a distraction from actually creating connected conversations with people that can come in um, to your world that you can support. So what's more important, creating connections, like actual conversations, like real conversations, ways that you can have like conversations with people where you can truly support them. That's what's more important than a website. If you do not have a steady flow of leads coming in right now, so as in if you are not having conversations on a daily basis and you're putting your focus onto a website, you're focusing on the wrong thing because you're being distracted rather than getting connected. Connection is what creates clients. It's what, it's what makes you stand out as being the expert. Your website is a nice to have, not a need to have. There's certain need to have activities that must be a non-negotiable in your business. And if they're not, that go of everything else. So the need to have, like the need tasks to have in your business are, you need to be able to know where your leads are coming from and know they don't need to be done through ads. I teach all of my clients how to do them through collaborations, which is why they're so successful is because you're creating, you're building up your expertise. You're connecting with other people that are like-minded, are supportive. You're building your network. You're building your visibility. You're building the trust that people will have in you you are supporting more people on um, a higher level because 
they're connected with you on a more frequent basis versus just doing like an odd masterclass or you know doing an odd live there's, there's beauty in this and it creates longevity for your business in terms of your network people that are in your community and um leads coming in the door so that is literally what I teach all of my clients to do and again that's why it's so successful but you need to have be having a way that your leads are coming in every day if you're not that gets to be a focus so where are you pulling your leads from um then and like they can be from anywhere like it doesn't have to be online it can be through networking events but make sure that it's structured so that you're actually pulling leads in the next thing then is how many conversations are you having on a daily basis with your leads that you have if you're having zero because you're focused on your website you're focused on canva which people like i got lost in canva for hours at the beginning like down the rabbit hole of ooh shiny object ooh look i like the look of this none of it really matters right it really doesn't matter when you have a consistent level of clients coming in then worry about what your brand color is and your logo and all that stuff is going to look like people are going to buy you they're going to buy whether or not you like they can trust you whether or not they're going to be supported by you and whether or not the results are actually going to happen for them that's what they're going to buy like people don't come to me because of my website I don't think I've ever had one person say to me I checked out your website I really don't most people say to me I've come to you because I've seen x y and z results I know you're going to um, keep me accountable I know that I can't hide with you so it's me that they're they're buying right it's the support that they're getting that they're buying so leads first and foremost second of all connect to conversations then the third one is, is to actually figure out what it is that people want. So making sure that from those connected conversations, you're asking questions to find out what people want so that you can serve them with what they need. None of that is to do with your website. None of that is to do with, you know, the nice to haves. You absolutely, like I said, need a place where people can purchase from you. Now that can be as simple as like a Stripe link or a PayPal link. Um, or you can have a one page, like a landing page, so one page where people go to that has your services on there with the buy button. It's like, please don't make it overcomplicated. If you are not focusing on client generating activities, so bringing in leads, connecting with leads, booking sales calls every single solitary day, but you're focused on your website or Canva or um, learning more when you already know what you know rather than applying it, you're distracting yourself and you're not getting connected and committed to successfully grow in your business. And I get it, right? I, I I swear I get it. Like there's a reason why the first eight months of my business were a disaster. Like I had a total of one client and it was somebody that I knew and I bumped into her in a hotel and I panicked when she said she wants to work with me, like full on panicked. And even when she was like, a yes, I still panicked. Right. So I went down the route that I've seen so many people do is like, let me do another masterclass. Let me do another masterclass. Let me do another masterclass. Let me create another freebie. Oh, let me create another freebie. Hang on a second. Let me create another smaller ticket um, offer rather than actually going, no. Who is it that I support? What is the transformation that I like full body believe that I can support them with? And am I actually sharing that with people who need to hear it? And if the answer is no, because Canva is more exciting or your website's more exciting or, you know, you're looking for the next thing because you keep telling yourself this isn't working. This is where you get to go. You get to focus, you get to get committed and get connected with leads. And, you know, like the one thing that I found as well as with high achievers. So like I'm a high achiever, I'm highly productive. I can, I'll turn my hand at anything, but I found connection to be one of like the biggest things that I struggle with and it was one thing that I had to work on so much and still continue to work on today because it's easier for me to hide behind the tasks and being productive um than it is to get in front of people it's still uncomfortable for me and I still get to do it and like if I look at like the split of my clients right so I've, I have a lot of clients that are like me and then I have a lot of clients that are great at connection but what happens when you, when you have those two? So when you have somebody who's like highly productive and, um, you know, was great at the doing and not so good at the connecting, so it, this is where we struggle with is focusing on the money generating activities and we'll justify why a website is necessary. <laughs> and then when you have somebody who is amazing at connecting, they will then justify why the conversions aren't taking place because the activity that's required is the doing. So we all fit into one category and that doesn't make a good, bad, right, wrong or indifferent. 
but you've got to accept that that's how it is for you right now and that there is other ways to be able to create it. And like I said, if you're not bringing in a steady flow of leads, then you're going to have nobody to have conversations with, nobody then to convert into clients, which means you're not making any money. So if this is something that you know that you want support with, um, even if you don't want support until January, that's totally fine. I have an offer on right now anyway, that you can like secure your spot now and have December and January as additional and not pay again until February. So you put in a deposit now and then you don't pay again until February, which is pretty cool. I've actually never done this before. Um, but if you know that this is something that you need support with and you know that you don't have an, like enough leads coming in, you know that you don't have the strategy there to connect with people in the volumes that you want to be able to transfer them into paying clients or possibly you do have the connection calls and you're still not able to connect with them into clients, then connect with me here. Just send me a, a DM and I will have a chat to you there. But I hope that this was supportive for you today and also... The Abundant Woman Summit is on later today, which I'm so excited about. It's on at 2 p.m., which is 11, 12, 1, 2, three hours from now, less than three hours from now. So um, the link, all the links are in my bio. So join us and I will talk to you later. Take care. Bye.